we talked a little bit about the PRO Act. And what the PRO Act is, is it's essentially a pro-union bill, is, is essentially what it is. It makes it much easier for unions to organize. It would stop Amazon from doing things like what Amazon did to stop their massive warehouse from organizing, uh, like running ads to their workers and doing this big anti-union campaign, holding meetings that the workers had to go to to tell them why unionizing was wrong, all these things. And then also the PRO Act is a, is a copy of what California did for contract workers when it came to people like Uber and Lyft and DoorDash drivers, musicians, writers, all these people that suffered so badly in California. It was so it was so badly hated in California that they eventually overturned it in the recent election in California. They eventually voted to excuse some of these other companies from to basically make it where Uber drivers could still be independent contractors if they want to. The PRO Act changes the definition of what an employee is, and it will make it to where if you are an independent contractor, that you are an employee. Okay, so it didn't have as much support, but now Senator Joe Manchin, who is kind of the one of the main guys on the Democrat side that is holding back the the Insanye legislation, the crazy, crazy leftist legislation. He's still a Democrat, but he's not, I wouldn't call him a leftist or anything like that. He has now said that he supports it. So this is from Reuters right here. Senator Joe Manchin said Monday he supports a sweeping labor reform bill, giving the legislation more momentum after it passed in the House last month. A West Virginia Democrat said the Protecting the Right to Organize Act, or the PRO Act, would level the playing field for unions as he was looking forward to working with a bipartisan group of legislators to pass it. Level the playing field for unions. Yeah, that's what we need to do. As level if the they're, playing, yeah. they're in so much harm right now. Yeah. it's And they're not even talking about protecting... They didn't even mention the protecting workers. He said it would level the playing field for unions. <laughs> that's, wow. That's the part that they weren't. That when the PRO Act first came out, they were talking about workers and protecting workers so they could get fair pay and everything. And now they're just like, oh, this is going to make it better for unions. It's just the quiet part out loud right now. Robert said passage of legislation would go a long way to help recovery across Appalachia which has been hit hard by the transformation of the energy business from coal to renewable energy. U.S. coal production has snuck to the lowest levels since the 1970s, and jobs in the industry have plummeted more than 40% since 2008. Okay, it's not due to any regulations against U.S. coal or anything like that, or that we're evolving in our technology, and that we're, we don't need coal as much as we used to or anything like that. We need to protect this one industry that's what we have to make sure that we are protecting well we could protect it by not having tons of epa regulations knocking the industry down that would right, be that'd right. be one way and to just do it. let the market work yeah actually let what charlie just said just let the free market work we don't have a free market they've caused a bunch of job losses in the industry and so now they need a new bill to protect people who are losing their jobs due to all the regulations that the government's been passing whether or not the coal companies make money or not who cares? yeah <laughs> The bill passed the House 225 to 206, but has an uphill battle in the Senate. This is the good news. Even with Manchin support, the bill does not yet have all 50 Democrats in the Senate, the level at which Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said it would need to get a vote. And this means all the Democrats have to vote for it, and then they would get the tie break from the vice president. Backers of the bill would also have to get the support of Democratic Senators Mark Warner, Kristen Sinema, and Mark Kelly, who have all expressed some level of skepticism. And normally that skepticism lasts until they get their own little pet projects put into the bill, and then their skepticism starts to dissipate right after that. Mm -hmm. So, and anyhow, anyhow. <laughs> this would be such a terrible bill. It would be, I mean, I'd... I'm trying to decide what the worst possible bill they could pass would be and doing something that would essentially make people who are independent contractors into employees of every business could be one of the things to have one of the worst things to happen to workers since the income tax like the since since taxation itself it could literally be one of the worst things to happen to happen to workers it's insane you're talking tens of millions of people who work as independent contractors, who make money on the side doing things, and are who are happy to be making money on the side doing things. You guys know I paid my bills by being an Uber driver for quite some time, 
And I only did that because I was an independent contractor. I did not want to be anyone's employee. That's why I drove for Uber was because I could do whatever I wanted. I could take one ride and go home if I wanted to. I could sleep in my car if I wanted to. I could watch a movie in my car if I wanted to do that. I didn't have to do anything if I didn't want to. And so that's why I was an Uber driver because I didn't actually have to do anything unless I really wanted to get out there and hustle and make a lot of money. And, and it, I could. I was averaged about $21 an hour anytime I would drive for Uber here in, here in Nashville. And this one time was, you took a guy to like Memphis, didn't you? Um, I took a guy to UT. Um, Mar- I, I don't. That- I took a guy like two and a half hours away one time, That's crazy. and uh, it, it was it was weird. It was really weird. The guy sat in my front seat in the passenger seat and didn't say a word to me the entire time, even though I tried to strike up a conversation a couple times. I was like, man, at least get in the back seat. Come yeah. on, yeah. This Why is- are you making this so weird? It's awkward. We had to stop. And- are you trying to hold your hand? <laughs> <laughs> um no no he was just on his phone the whole time and uh man i tell you what it was weird i picked him up at uh like 11 30 at night almost midnight something like that and uh saw the trip and i was like <clears throat> are you actually going to this place he's like yeah man the last couple uber drivers they showed up and then they left said they couldn't take me and i was like well it'll be some pretty good money that's fine i'll go another thing we've learned there during this podcast is that the word momentarily momentarily can mean anything yeah so, so we've been streaming uh, waiting for the verdict and it has said the entire time verdict to be read momentarily and that's factually accurate mm-hmm. you know but momentarily moments could be measured in any amount of time really yeah if you want to so i guess maybe we're not going to catch the verdict live today and and so that's okay what do you think it's going to be charles um I think it's going to be guilty. Yeah. And I think they're actually going to do guilty on all three, which uh, no, I I think they're going to do guilty murder three and guilty manslaughter and not guilty on murder two. I, uh, I think it'll be guilty on all three. I think that's, I think that's what we're going to get. But I, I also lean towards what you just said right there. I think that's a very likely possibility but I think if they don't get the highest charge, I think everyone knows that if they don't get the highest charge, it's going to be really bad. And so if I think that the it, that what's going on in the country is played into what the jury is going to do whatsoever, then I have to think that they're going to do guilty on everything out of mm-hmm. out of fear, at least. So I don't know. That's that's what I think. That's what I think. That's what Charlie thinks. We will know momentarily. I saw someone in the group that said they think that he's going to be acquitted because they want the unrest. That's, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't think that that's a high likelihood. Um, but you know, we'll see. That certainly will be interesting. That, that will be really interesting. So listen, y'all, everyone who's a member of the Patreon group, I really want to say thank you to you guys. You guys are helping us pay the bills. You guys are helping us, um, actually run advertising. We have someone, we, we got Mr. John King who, uh, was on the pack podcast. If you go way, way back and then he just got too busy to hang out with us lowly folks over here. Um, he's running our videos all the time, running our social media, doing a really good job doing that. And it's thanks to you guys that we're, we're able to do those things that I'm able to come in here every day. And if you're not a member of the Patreon, I highly suggest doing it because we are working on some big stuff right now. And it's, it's not going to be easy, but Hey, saving the world is not easy. All right. But that's, that is the task that we are officially taking on. And it's starting right here in our Patreon group. So if you haven't joined, then go to patreon.com slash good morning liberty. You can find all the links. Make sure you go to up in arms clothing. Tell a friend, tell a family member. Do all those things. And and also what Charlie wants me to say right now, I'm channeling his brain, is to leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts because that tells the algorithms that we're okay. And after all these ratings and reviews, we're still shown as a five-star podcast we've got a few three stars in there but i don't know if the rolling average is what they do like the most previous 30 or 100 reviews whatever it is um 30 or 100 
It's either one. It's either one of those. Yeah. I don't know. So I don't know what it is, but we still come up as a five star podcast. So make sure if you haven't done it, you just type in Good Morning Liberty. If you're already subscribing, you type it in, you bring up the main podcast page, go down to the bottom and you hit five stars if that's what you think. And if you think it's less than that, then forget this ever happened. All right. Forget I, <laughs> forget I ever said anything. And check out the YouTubes. Yeah. We've, yeah. Been, we've been doing a lot of work on the YouTubes. Yeah. yeah, yeah we've so been doing check a lot it of- out. This is Good Morning Liberty.